<laughs> okay, so day two of the repair and today we are going to get around to running this machine to see if the repair, the clutch repair and the new carb and uh, service, basic service has worked. We've also got the guy next door competing with his leaf blower again, so I'm sure we're going to make some noise with this. Uh, we'll get around to that. In the first part of the video, if you missed that, where we repaired the uh, centrifugal clutch and the bearing housing arrangement, uh, check that out. There will be a car. There's also going to be a link in the description, um, so check that out if you missed that. As a quick recap, I did get a brand new carburetor, a fuel shutoff valve, new um, air filter, and we're going to install that stuff. We're probably going to keep this original, uh, or not original, but this afterthought um, filter setup that I've got here and uh, just install that quickly and then see if we can get this machine running. So what I've ended up doing here is uh, installing everything back on. So the new carb, used the old gaskets with some fresh gasket maker, uh, pop that on and on this little retaining plate, well, a somewhat retaining locking plate, uh, there's these little tabs. Now there's one of them over there. There used to be one there and one there. Those have broken off. So of course, over time, as this thing has been serviced and taken apart, those have probably got weak and broken off. So uh, I've just put on some normal washers and then some nylock nuts. Hopefully those nylock nuts hold over time. We will, of course, occasionally check this at its next service, five years down the line and in the next 10,000 hours. I'm sure that'll be sufficient. Okay, other than that, uh, everything is installed pretty well. Uh, the new carb is looking good. We might end up swapping back to the old carb at some stage as a comparison. Um, I did closely look at this new one compared to the old one, and the old one is definitely a better made and refined carburetor, made in Japan of course, uh, as everything that is made in Japan normally is pretty damn good. Um, so we'll see how this one works and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Turns out that the new fuel shuttle valve that I got is not of the correct thread or the thread in the tank is slightly damaged but anyway, wasn't threading in 
very well. So I'm just going to use the old one for now. I mean, this one is working. It's just the filter element that wasn't working and I did a quick repair to, to the actual inside of this, uh, this lever. So this one was working. Let's try and use it and we'll see what happens. Just took this uh, filter off again. I realized I didn't put any oil on the external sponge, so it's all done now. And we'll pop it back together. Pretty simple, you just pop it in just like that. And then it's got a little tab on the bottom there which, which hooks in. Cool, we are pretty much all good to go. New carb is on. Filter, tap, everything's good to go. Tank's full of fuel. And uh, you can see there's nothing in the filter at the moment. We'll just open the tap up here. There we go, it starts running, starts filling up. So this is definitely gonna be the first start. Wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> Let's hope I don't have egg on my face now and, um, and uh, have the machine not start. I wonder why the fuel is running so slowly. I wonder if there's not a blockage or something. Hmm, didn't really test that. Let's pull off the, pull off the uh, sort of tube or the feed line into the carb. Oh yeah, there we go. The fuel is running onto the grass, so that should kill the grass pretty quickly. Maybe just pop that back on there. Um, yeah, maybe after we start, it'll it'll fill up. Oh, just thinking about this now, we should have checked the uh, checked the spark plug. Mm, yep, checked and I think we are good to go. Two things that I didn't check was the idle screw setting and the idle mixture setting. Got these two screwdrivers. I suppose we should try and do it now. Um, that would be the right thing to do. Ah, let's just pull it, see what happens. Put the choke on. Okay, choke off. Just open up the throttle just a little bit here. Open it up some more. There we go. Cool. Uh, no, short lived. This thing wants to take off. I think I might have to readjust the clutch there. Dingus, almost had a runaway lawnmower there. <laughs> cool, man. Seems to be idling fairly well. I think we'll just lower that idle a little bit. Look at the engine, still cold. There we go. Cutting along nicely now, I think. Nope. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty stoked with that as a first try. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretty stoked with that. Uh, the I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys know. Let us know in the comments. Um, this uh, idle mixture setting. It's five and a half turns out. Now that's how the carb came out of the box. I think that's a bit rich actually. So I'm going to screw it in, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, lacquer man. Let's go. One, oh, half. One. So we're going to one turn in. So I think going in makes it leaner. Come on.
Okay, so let's try this now. We're going to go leaner. So that's now one and a half in, two in, two and a half in. Yeah, so two in. I turned it off a turn out there again. So that means what are we? We were at five and a half and now we're two in, so we are at three and a half out. Yeah. No, no seems to be doing doing quite well. <laughs> cool, so I think it is pretty much ready for a test. Um, I've only really got this little patch of grass here to cut. I mean I cut the grass over the weekend with the other mower, so not too sure how well this is going to work. I think maybe we'll set it quite a bit lower and then hopefully it cuts something so that we can see if it works properly. This is flipping awesome. I didn't realize about this mower and maybe you guys didn't either, but this is like one of those autonomous lawn mowers. You know those, those ones that you get, those cordless things you you just start and they, they do their own thing? Man, I, I really, watch this. This is flipping awesome. Yeah, look at that. And it can cut the grass itself. <laughs> Oh man, this is the laugh. That's exactly, exactly what I want. <laughs> Something to consider. Like it. it's not idling. Anyway, we'll deal with that at a later stage. Guys, uh, that is pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you feel like subscribing, it really does help me out. So hit that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments what you thought about uh, fixing this lawnmower. If you've got any thoughts, or if you want to see more of this type of thing, maybe you want to see like a semi-restoration, um, tear it down a little bit more, and uh, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see where it goes. Anyway, you'll see me in the next video. Cheers.